Hi there. So when you are laying your DBM or whichever layer it is or whatever you are constructing, as a site engineer, you have to keep confirming your dimensions. Uh, no matter the setting out that has been done by the survey or the equipment like paver, uh, you need to confirm your dimensions, widths, depths, and everything. And that is what you can see me here <laughs> frantically doing. So my name is Gertrude Ndeto, and uh, I'm going to talk about the laying of the dense bitumen macadam today using a paver. So after the DBM has come to site, like here, as you can see, the first thing you'll need to do is confirm the temperature on arrival because the asphalt is supposed to be laid at a specified temperature. It's in the specifications. There's the mixing binder with the aggregates. There's a temperature for that. It's specified. Laying temperature and also the temperature after compaction, like here when you finish. So that's why you have to do your work quickly and lay the half width or full width close to each other so that the asphalt does not go cold. So once you do your base, this is a GCS graded crushed stone base. It can also be a natural material, cement treated, lime treated base. Yeah. So after you've done it, uh, the first thing you need to do is prime. Here you use the MC30 binder at a specified spray rate. So you prime it in order to receive now your DBM, asphalt layer, bituminous. So you bind the non-bituminous layer with the bituminous layer with a prime coat. So after you lay, you need to work your edges and compact them separately from the width. Considering the, you know, your width, you have to consider the additional dimension for the road marking. So once you confirm your depth with the laying of the paver and there is some missing or just minor depth you need to add, you use the spade as you can see this guy is doing to add. You compact with a drum, steel drum roller, a pneumatic roller. It's also specified in a bridge, the expansion joint, you leave it like you have seen here. Then you traffic your rod in order to receive now the other layer. Those are the main points, but the whole detailed procedure is going to be outlined in the approved method statement and the standard specifications or special specifications. A trial section shall also be carried out prior to the main works, like a test, you know, to, to showcase or determine how things are going to be working out. The approved drawings are going to be there also to guide but the main thing is the approved cross-section because it shows how the subgrade that is fill layers and the pavement layers is going to be how the dbm merges with the bridge and uh, the expansion joint is also going to be shown and the road furniture can be done before or cut into 